Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is Maryam Limrechi, the part of the organizing committee at the 52nd Union Day. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Can you please tell us more about the role of the committee? What do you guys do so people that don't know what your role can know more about it? So the 52nd UAE Union Day Committee was uh, created to plan and develop and execute uh, the Union Day celebrations. That includes the official show mm -hmm. and uh, to oversee the programming, school programming, the Union Day zones, as well as school, um, uh, parades. Yeah. Amazing, we're so excited, first of all, for the Union Day celebration. Yes. Second of all, the fact that it's going to be at Expo City. Yes. Can you give us a little sneak peek about what we can expect there? Yes, so um, I just wanted to mention also that the committee was uh, is uh, chaired by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed and co-chaired by uh, Sheikh Maryam bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. And uh, what we're doing is basically because we're in Expo, because of hosting COP28, uh, we wanted to uh, unite the world in our Union Day and celebrate with them the essence of Union Day, which is our seven nations coming together as one. Amazing. King Charles is going to love it. Yes. <laughs> Incredible. So if the public want to participate in the 52nd Union Day, how can they get involved? So the public can watch the show on 2nd of December, uh, live streamed uh, at 6 p.m. on our website, uniondayae and uh, they can attend the show from the 5th to the 12th of December. Uh, they can experience the spectacular uh, story about uh, our unity and the, the journey uh, uh, of the UAE since 1971 uh, in sustainability up to this date. Uh, there are so many things to explore and for everyone who wants to uh, experience the uh, 2nd of December, uh, uh, they can find all the information on our website, whether they're celebrating at home or outdoors or in the parade. There's a kit for everything you need to know on how to celebrate sustainably and consciously. Incredible. Very, how will you personally be celebrating? You'll be Union working. Day? I'll be yeah, working. Be <laughs> but if you weren't working, what would you be doing? So if I wasn't uh, in Expo uh, on the 2nd of December, I would be celebrating possibly in the desert. Nice. So I like it to nice. be authentic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, the weather is nice. This is the best time to be outdoors and connect with nature exactly. and feel rooted, you know, like taking it back to the roots and just having a chill um, kind of evening uh, and uh, not leaving any trace of waste. Yes, <laughs> Very always. important. Dr. Leila, what yes, about Dr. yourself? Dr. How, yeah, how will you be celebrating Union Day? Uh, with the kids, uh, yeah. with the kids at home. Yeah, you know, That's it's very nice. important for uh, the young generation to have this connection with their uh, national identity, and I see that. There, there are gaps actually from private schooling, public schooling. So it's good, it's good to, you know, celebrate with the people, you know, connected to you first, right? Yeah. Definitely. I love but that. I have a question to Maryam. Yes. So when you say sustainability, is it only the paper waste, or how do you describe celebrating in a sustainable way? Beautiful question. Yes. We have actually developed a kit for wherever you celebrate, whether it's at home, yes. in the office, in a parade or in school. Yes. Yes. The idea of it is how can you reduce your waste? For example, portioning food if you're celebrating at home, uh, reducing plastic, so using your own cutlery instead of ordering in mm -hmm. plastic water bottles, uh, um, even the decorations, if you can upcycle last year's decorations and yeah. use them. Yeah. So it's thinking about how can we reduce the waste and reduce our consumption in general. There are so many different ways to do that and it's about how you want to celebrate and how you want to, um, you know, be more conscious. The way that we live nowadays is doesn't reflect our inherited sustainability. So even though people assume that sustainability is a new thing, it's actually a way of life that our ancestors have been living in, not by choice, but through because it's a need. You know, we had very scarce resources. We had, uh, you know, very limited resources that they've lived on. So it's always about being conscious. One of the most beautiful stories I like to share is the telly in, uh, in the Jalabiya dresses. So uh, uh, back in the day, when the dress is worn out or the jalabiya, they would take the telly and reapply it on a new dress. 
instead okay. of uh, develop, you know like making new tele so that just blew my mind like how yeah. sustainable are they and they don't even know, call it sustainability well you reminded me actually my mother used to do the tele and she used to teach me yeah. and stitch everything by <laughs> herself and recycle by herself that's why i said we are the older generation but I do have another question for you. Yeah. So you work with schools, you work with the kids. Do you find a uh, difference in the generations, between the generations about their relationship with their national identity and their connection to uh, their national identity? Of course there's, because uh, again, like the new generation, they are very wide uh, versed and they, they, yes. they've experienced the world differently. Um, I think it's not about that they've lost the national identity, it's that we're understanding our national identity in a new uh, way. Uh, again, the, the United Arab Emirates uh, and the Union Day specifically, it was about seven nations coming together to create a harmonious and uh, prosperous future for the people that are living here. And ever since then we have you know, developed tremendously. We have over 200 nationalities living here. So one of the ideas is Union Day is not only for Emiratis. Union Day is about all, everyone who calls the UAE home to come together and unify and celebrate our unity and coexistence. Because this is something beautiful. That's so nice. Yeah, it is beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Miriam, for joining us and giving us a little insight into the 52nd Union Day. But it's now time for DXB in 60. We're going to get to know Dr. Leila a little bit better. Faris, That's you're right. the man with the Doctor, questions. Doctor, we've been getting to know you. We want to try and get to know you as quickly as possible in 60 seconds, so you can answer as seconds. quickly as you like oh as many Again? questions as I'm going to ask you. And we're going to start the clock in three, two, one. If you weren't an entrepreneur, what field would you be working in? Sitting at home. I'm retired. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> one thing you cannot live without. And my family. Oh, that's amazing. What is your motto when it comes to life and it, when it comes to work? Uh, continuous learning. Knowledge is never enough. Uh, what is your hidden gem in Dubai that people might not know about? Oh, my house was not open. It's not open. No, it's not. <laughs> There's no invite. Uh, what, is, what would you say your greatest achievement has been, apart from your kids? Uh, apart from my family. So I did, I, I'm, I'm, you know, proud of so many. During every decade, I worked uh, in a certain field, and I put my, uh, you know, my stamp on it. Aviation transformation was a, one of the biggest achievement. Uh, this is the last decade at, in the government. Establishing RTA is a big achievement for me. Establishing the uh, virtual uh, borders under uh, His Highness Sir Bin Zayed was a big achievement. And finally, my achievement is my group of companies. I start from scratch. Now I have a you know a name that everybody knows, and uh, I could uh, and I learned medicine after I retired, and this is one of the biggest achievements that I could jump into something which is very technical and very complicated after uh, you get retired. That's why I said knowledge is always a uh, you know it's not a goal but it's it's a way of life. Well, you're such an accomplished woman that you've more than run out the clock. It's, <laughs> it's been DXB in Sorry. in ninety and mashallah is all I can say. Thank you very much. Thank yes, you. thank you so much to both of you for joining us on the show. It's been incredible to get to meet you both. But now it's time for a break. But afterwards, we're going to be joining Ash at the World Green Energy Summit to know how we can use clean energy. Plus, we're going to be giving vibes with not so human. So you don't want to miss that. <laughs>